All right, in this video, I just want to do a quick little example about the geometric mean and also to point out, you know, what kind of how you can think about it, what it means. Um, so the definition, the geometric mean of two numbers, A and B, uh, what we do is we multiply those two numbers together, and then we take the square root of them, and that's the geometric mean. So certainly not the same as the arithmetic mean, the average. I think that's the one most of us are certainly more familiar with. So let's look at a, a simple example here. Let's find the geometric mean of uh, 4 and 9. So, again, what we'll do is we'll multiply those two numbers together, and then we'll simply take the square root of, uh, of those. So, 4 times 9, well, that's going to give us 36. So, we have to take the square root of 36. Well, that's simply equal to 6. So, we would say that the geometric mean of the numbers 4 and 9, uh, the geometric mean is going to equal 6. So, you know, what, what is, what's special about the geometric mean? I guess, you know, uh, again, I think an average, an arithmetic mean, it's kind of the middle point, right? And I think, uh, you know, people, you know, you, you find an arithmetic mean if you want to find, for example, your average grade on two tests. So, you know, what does this number 6 represent in relation to 4 and 9? Well, what it has to do with, it has to do with ratios. Okay, so we started with 4... Um, and 9, those were the numbers that we were finding the arith or excuse me, the geometric mean of, and we found that geometric mean to equal 6. Well, notice if we look at the ratio 4 divided by 6, and then if we look at the ratio 6 divided by 9, well, 4 over 6 redu reduces to 2 thirds. Hey, 6 over 9 also reduces to 2 thirds. So this is kind of what's special about this number, the geometric mean. Um, if you take the ratio of the small number to the geometric mean, and then if you look at the ratio of the geometric mean to the larger number, those ratios or those fractions are going to be the same. Okay, So that's, that's, that's how you can kind of think about the geometric mean. Somehow it's, it's giving equal ratios of those two values. So... Again, the arithmetic mean is the one that I think most of us are a, little, are a little bit more used to. So, again, just to refresh you, the arithmetic mean, we would just add those two numbers together, you know, 4 plus 9, and then divide by 2. Well, I guess 4 plus 9, that's uh, 13 over 2. And 13 divided by 2, I believe that's going to give us, what, uh, 6.5. Okay, so the arithmetic mean is 6.5. The geometric mean was 6, and this leads to one other uh, last little remark uh, without a proof, but it turns out that the geometric mean is always less than or equal to the arithmetic mean, okay? So one other little useful result. So again, if you want to find your average grade on two tests, you're not going to use the geometric mean. You're going to use the more familiar arithmetic mean. Um, but the geometric mean certainly does show up. And um, again, I think it's something that people, most people aren't, aren't familiar with. I certainly wasn't for a long time. Um, so just in case you see it, that's all there is to it. Um, and that's it. Again, it just really has to do with making ratios equal to each other.